In this video we're going to create the wings. I can see that they have an overall length uh, between the rounded ends of 8 inches. The rounded ends are a 1 inch radius or 2 inch diameter so that creates the width and the holes are quarter inch. They are vertical to the uh, center points of the rounded ends and they are half an inch in from each end. The overall height is quarter or 0.25. I'll start a new part studio in inches. Start a sketch and put it on the top sketch plane. Right click and view normal to the sketch plane. I'm going to uh, use a center point rectangle. Use the origin as a center point. Click and set the uh, distance horizontally at 8 inches and the width at 2. That creates the center part of the wing. Now I have my rounded ends. I'll use a uh, center point arc and I'm looking for the square uh, midpoint of this end line. To use as the center of the arc, click on the end point for the start and the end point for the end. I'll do the same at the other end. Midpoint, end point, and end. Now I have some uh, holes here, so I'm going to use a center point circle. I'm going to make this coincident to this end line. Click, set this at 0.25, and then use my dimension tool to go from this edge to the center of the hole is going to be 0.5. I have another hole on the other side, so again I'll use a center point circle coincident to the end line. Uh, I'm going to set this circle at a dis center distance of 0.5 again from this outside edge. And for its diameter, I'm going to use an equal constraint and set this, these two circles equal to each other for the holes. Now, to make the holes on the other side, I'm going to first make a center line. I'm going to make this coincident to the origin in the middle of the wing and create a center line. With this, I can use a mirror. Choose the center line as my mirror line. Choose these two holes or two circles. Place those at the other end. Right click and escape mirror. With that, I've completed my sketch. I'm going to accept it. And now right click and go to isometric. In this case, I'm going to use my extrude feature. Click on the wing and make sure that I've left out space for the holes. This is going to have a thickness of 0.25 and it's extruded vertically and that looks correct so I will accept that. And I've created my wing. Now there'll be two of these parts in my finished assembly.